Hello, my name is Chad and I'm a keeper here at Woodland Park Zoo. I'm here to introduce you to two of my good friends right here, Taj and Glenn. These are greater one-horned rhinos, also known as Indian or Nepalese rhino because of where they're found throughout the world. They're also from another country called Bhutan as well. And you can see why they're called greater one-horned rhinos, because they do only have one horn. Now these guys are actually one of the largest land mammals in the world. Right now the boys are just about 3,000 pounds, but that's only half of what they will weigh. They're going to be close to 6,000 pounds when they're fully grown, almost 6 feet tall at the shoulder, and close to 13 feet long. So, they've got a lot of growing to do. True or false? The greater one-horned rhino is the largest rhino. False. The white rhinoceros is the largest of the five species of rhinos still living on the planet. These guys are what we call herbivores, so they eat mostly plants, and right now they're getting about 60 pounds of food a day, believe it or not. Now, greater one-horned rhinos have a lot of really, really cool adaptations, and the first one you can probably see are those lips that they have, especially that upper lip right there. That's what we call a semi-prehensile lip, and what that does is it takes the food in front of it and it helps move it right into their mouth, just like that. Now that, that lip takes it onto that big conveyor belt of a tongue, past the 24 molars that they have, and down into that throat and then into their stomach. Now if you notice, rhinos have very, very large nostrils and also very, very large ears, which means that these guys can hear really, really well and also smell really, really well. But if you take a look at their eyes, their eyes are very, very small and they're on the side of their head which makes it very, very difficult for them to see. Think about if your eyes were where your ears were right now. It'd be very, very difficult to see. True or false? There are five species of rhinos in the world. True. Greater one-horned, Javan and Sumatran in Asia, black rhino and white rhino in Africa. And that's a sound right there. One of the sounds that these guys make, they do have a lot of different sounds that they make. Everything from a roar to a chuff to a snort, even a growl, believe it or not. And Taj actually likes to moo. And you can see I'm feeding these guys some of their favorite foods, which is actually uh, sweet potatoes, carrots, and also apples. Normally, their main diet would be hay, which you might have seen them eating just a little bit earlier. It's all over the ground right there. <clears throat> Now, these guys are what we call an ungulate. In fact, they are a three-toed ungulate. If you look at their feet right there, you notice that they do have three individual toes on their front feet and their rear. The um, closest living relative to these guys are the Malayan tapers. And we actually do have some of those right here at the zoo as well. Very, very cool. And you can see a lot of similarities within these two guys. <clears throat> now, their skin. Their skin is actually very, very thick. And if you look at it, a lot of people say it looks just like armor. <clears throat> and it is, it's exactly what it is. In fact, it's, it's, it is, it's very much like armor. Because you won't see it now, but these guys will, as they grow, they're gonna start to grow very, very sharp and long incisors, lower incisors, that as they get, um, <laughs> as they get older, They'll become aggressive with one, other, one another, and they'll actually use those to fight. Hence the reason for that very, very thick and armored-like skin. It's going to be there to actually help protect everything that these guys need protected, like the jugular vein, their heart area, their stomach area, groin, and even their tail actually fits in this really, really, maybe we can get Taj to turn around, fits in this very, very cool channel, makes it much more difficult, perfect, right on cue, for... Um, the other rhino to actually bite that tail right there. So it's very, very cool. You can see it looks like they actually have pants on, believe it or not. But those, those, um, that skin that's hanging right there, like I said, actually helps protect the groin and uh, the legs and actually part of the stomach as well too. So it's very, very cool. True or false? Greater one-horned rhinos do not like water. False. This rhino species loves the water. They are strong swimmers and can dive and feed underwater. They live in swamps, forest, and riversides. Now, I want to take you to one of the most important things, and that is the horn of this rhino. 
Now these guys tend to have much smaller horns than say the African rhino. A foot and a half to two feet is pretty much full size for these guys, but they do wear it down. They do what's called grooming it. So they get to make whatever the shape they want to, very, very similar to what we would do with our fingernails. And it's kind of a cool similarity there. Their horn is actually made out of the same material as our fingernails. It's called keratin. <clears throat> and their horn grows just like a fingernail. Now, if you think of our thumbnail, example, as um, their horn, our thumbnail grows out. Just think of theirs as growing up right there. It sits on a pad that's on the top of their skull right there. Now, there are a lot of different um, cultures that believe rhino horn um, has quite a few different magical and medicinal purposes, can cure everything from a hangover and a headache all the way up to like cancer. But that is not true. We know that if we chew on our fingernails, <clears throat> we don't get any better if we're not feeling well. So it's one of the reasons why these guys, the numbers are becoming low and low. Now, at the turn of the century, there was about 200 of these rhinos left. Right now, we're very, very fortunate to have about 3,650. That's still not a lot, but it is getting better and better. Um, and one of the reasons why we're doing that is we're taking very, very good care of protecting these guys. Greater one horned rhinos are the conservation success story. Rhinos are an iconic ambassador for threatened species. Now, one of the things you guys can do is actually help to spread the word and to tell other people about what the true story of the rhinosaurus's horn is. Be a wise traveler and consumer. Don't purchase questionable souvenirs made from animal products. Use the Be Informed, Buy Informed travel guide to avoid being an unknowing wildlife trafficker. You'll find it at zoo.org forward slash travel guide. Now, thanks so much for joining me. It's been great to have you, and I hope you end up loving rhinos just as much as I do.